I firmly and wholeheartedly believe that me parting ways with my silver and gold is a step in the right direction. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I want to talk about something incredibly difficult. I'm actually going to be selling all of my silver and all of my gold to do something huge. It's not something that I ever expected to do. It's not something that I even necessarily want to do. It's something that I feel like I need to do. And I'd really appreciate if you can watch this video the entire way through, from the start to the very end, to get a full understanding of the story. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Four brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. So today is April 1st of 2021. Happy April, everybody. New month, fresh start, I guess you can say. Unfortunately, I'm going to be making my way to the local coin shop after this video to part ways with my silver and gold. And it's for a really big reason, which is what today's video is going to be about. I also wanted to spend a little bit of time going over some of these coins, rounds, and bars, some of the silver, some of the gold that I have on display right here really quick because this is, after all, how it all got started. Some of those gold coins up there, those are some of my international troy ounce of gold pieces. Of course, we have 10th ounce gold Britannia. 10th ounce gold maple, 10th ounce gold eagle, 10th ounce gold philharmonic, its name is Lil Phil, and a 10th ounce gold Krugerand, its name is Freddy Krugerand. And of course, the 10th ounce gold kookaburra. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I just got this can't believe I'm already parting ways with it. And of course, this is something that I should be keeping, but I don't think I can. My quarter ounce gold Philharmonic. His name is Phil. Lil Phil's uncle. The reason I should be keeping this is because this was my 10,000 subscriber trophy that I got for myself. Marked a milestone. A little bit of a reward for all the hard work and dedication, the blood, sweat, and tears I put into this channel over the years. But rest assured, the channel's not going anywhere. The channel will continue, the videos will continue. More on that later in the video. And then as for all the silver here, over here is a tube of generic silver rounds. This right here, was my very first piece of silver ever. Picked it up in December of 2017. That's where it all started. The Bill of Rights. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful round. Heartbreaking to part ways with it. Along with a variety of other silver rounds, Buffalo rounds, Sunshine rounds, Morgan Dollar rounds, all types of rounds. And then over on the right, we have a little bit of a rookie mistake, I guess you can say. When I first started stacking Silver Eagles, I put them all in airtight capsules and airtight tubes. Just because at the time, I thought that that's just what I was supposed to do. I was mistaken. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What I should have been putting these things in were... Mint tubes. I got tons and tons and tons of these. They're currently sitting in the trunk of my car. 
This one right here, I will not be getting rid of. This was a gift. I do not get rid of gifts. Two Queen's Beasts, my only Queen's Beasts. I picked those up the summer of 2020. And before silver really took off beyond the $20 mark, I picked up a couple pieces. One of the Queen's Beasts was one of them. That Kraken over there, that was the other. I picked them up, got them relatively close to spot. Low premium. Back when spot price was still in the teens. That was definitely a win. Some 90% silver up at the top. Quarters, dimes, half dollars. I love 90% junk constitutional silver. I didn't always appreciate it, but I started to really respect and enjoy it. We also have some 10 ounce bars over here, a sunshine bar, which I got, I believe, Cyber Monday 2018. This was actually a Christmas present that I got for myself. Underneath it, we have the silver gold bull bar, which I got at spot. Technically, I got it below spot. And this little one ounce Westminster bar that I got completely randomly later last year. American flag bar, beautiful flag, beautiful country, beautiful metal. And of course, last but not least, the Aztec calendar, five ounce silver round. That's gotta be the toughest to part ways with. Beautiful design. I had my fun with it. But I think sometimes in life, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's get back to the video and let me explain what's actually going on. It's not something that I ever expected to be doing, at least not any time in the near future. I've been saying for several years now that I'm stacking the silver and the gold for long-term wealth preservation purposes, and I still stand by that. I still believe in the silver. I believe in the gold. But something came up, and well, let me just get into it. As of today, I'm going to be starting to part ways with all of my silver and all of my gold. And this is something that I've spent the last couple of months thinking about. And it's not because I want to cash out and enjoy the fiat or the profits or the gains or anything like that. And it's not because I'm over the precious metals. It's actually so that I can begin funding my own startup company that I believe will leave a positive impact not only on the people in my life, but potentially the entire world. A bigger impact than the silver and the gold. A bigger impact than teaching people and learning from people about financial literacy. So starting today, I'll begin transporting my silver and gold over to my local coin shop so that I can finally get this company off the ground. And by the way, my uncle has been helping me tremendously with this process and all the paperwork and the banking mumbo jumbo, being that he is one of the most influential top dog contract negotiating executives in the entire state of New Jersey. We've also found a crew of investors, a team of researchers, and some of the most respected business strategists that are out there. With this collaboration of talent skill and innovation, we've been able to design and construct something that will change the world forever. And our flagship product is going to be Karen Repellent, anti-Karen spray. Karen be gone, if you will. It's no secret that this channel has been a Karen-free zone since day one. And I've even took it upon myself to cook up some Karen Free Zone merchandise, which can be found in the DYDSS store. The link will be in the description. We have t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and even coffee mugs. Use promo code Karen for a 15% discount on all DYDSS merchandise until midnight tonight. Now, for those of you who have been blessed and fortunate enough to have Never been forced to experience a run-in with a Karen. Consider yourself lucky. If you haven't caught on, Karens are no fun to encounter. 
they can be described as simply a relentless complainer. To help paint a picture of just how horrendous Karens can be, I put together a compilation of videos that captured a variety of Karen attacks. But before I show that to you, I'd like for it to be known that my plan to formulate an anti-Karen spray didn't come from the vicious Karen attacks that were caught on camera. It was actually first conceptualized when I was in college, believe it or not. As a student, I was required to spend quite a bit of money for my education. One of the courses that I took was an English composition class that required me to spend even more money to access a website where my assignments would be posted. Behind that paywall was assignment number one, which was to spend even more money on a book to read for the course. The book was called A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. It was about a woman named Blanche Dubois who lived in what many of us would refer to as Richie Richville, where she was treated like a queen and everything was magnificent. But things ended up going south for Blanche. And she was forced to move in with her sister who lived in a tiny apartment with her working class husband in New Orleans. Blanche had immense difficulty adjusting to the lifestyle change and resorted to veiled insults, nitpicking, name calling, ruining the fun, and of course, relentless complaining. It was at this point that I said to myself, wow, Blanche Dubois? is such a Karen. I then came to the realization that Karens don't only exist in books, but they exist in the real world too. I would now like to present to you a short list of examples of times where Karens being Karens were caught on camera. Exhibit A, Car Ride Karen. You too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, really sorry. You are? No, it's my, it's my, it's it my fault. It is your fault. Yeah, I know it's my fault. That's why I'm, I'm saying sorry. Oh, calm down. Calm down. So oh, set, an, set an example. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm saying sorry. Exhibit B, bus stop, Karen. You know, I got on. She wants to. Look, look. Oh my god! No, you did that! Exhibit C Roadkill Karen. <gasps> ma'am, ma'am, he's running me over! No, I'm not. Ma'am, hurry, please, hurry! Mike! 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 Hurry! 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 Ma'am! Exhibit D, Kmart Karate Karen. Oh, you what? Come on, bitch! What is it? Johnny! Need I go on? Let me know in the comments which Karen you found to be the most terrifying. Now, these four Karens are obviously very, very different. But our team of researchers have found that they all have one thing in common. They all seem to hate happiness. And that's why our anti-Karen spray has been strategically and scientifically designed to be happiness in a can. Is there a Karen ruining your day? Well, a Karen-free zone is just one spray away. We're currently working on two different scented Karen Be Gone products. One is called Pizzeria Paradise, because who doesn't enjoy the cheesy aroma that they get to bask in upon setting foot in their local pizza shop for a slice on their lunch break. And the other scent is called Coin Shop Shenanigans, because let's not lie to ourselves. Have you ever stopped by the local coin shop to pick up some beautiful new maple leafs, or mercury dimes, or buffalo rounds, or silver town bars, and walked out without a smile? I think I made my point. The anti-Karen spray products are not yet for sale, being that they're still a work in progress. We have a bit of a ways to go before the official release, which is why I firmly and wholeheartedly believe that 
me parting ways with my silver and gold to help get this company off the ground is a step in the right direction. And considering after today I will no longer have any precious metals, I figured there would be no sense in continuing to talk about precious metals on this channel. Of course it's important to financially prepare yourself. Of course it's important to do what you can to combat inflation. Of course it's important to hold on to real, true, honest money. Generational wealth. Of course it's important to stack the silver, to stack the gold, and to stack the dollar bills. But you know what's even more important to be stacking? Ways of avoiding Karens, or ways to combat them if need be. Which is why I will continue posting daily videos. But from here on out, they will be about how to handle Karen attacks, such as avoiding any store in the world's customer service desk, which is where Karens notoriously roam and graze. If we end up on YouTube, I will see you. But more on that in tomorrow's video. I understand that this video may have caught you off guard. It may frustrate some of you. It may disappoint others. But rest assured, not much will change except for almost everything. One thing that will remain is the DYDSS brand. For weeks, I went back and forth over whether or not I should change it from DYDSS, which stands for Don't You Dare Stop Smiling, to DYDSK, which would have stood for Don't You Dare Start Karening. But after careful thought, I came to the conclusion that the positive DYDSS message and mission which is to push and promote a happy, healthy, and wealthy lifestyle on the people of planet Earth, that's here to stay. However, I am contemplating changing the name of my channel to Karen Be Gone DYDSS. Let me know in the comments if you think that, that would be a more appropriate name for this channel. Again, I know this video may come as a shock, but if you're an anti karener like myself, you probably see this as a new beginning or a fresh start, a step in the right direction, one step closer to a Karen-free zone. And also, if you're an anti-Karener and you're new to the channel, you may be pleased to discover that a couple months back, I created something called the Precious Metals VIP Club, which I will now be rebranding as the Anti-Karen VIP Club. It's where I can do things on my own terms not on Karen's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held Karen-free live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways every single month, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold and Karen Be Gone products are on sale. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Anti-Karen VIP Club. It's a Karen-free zone. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like a Karen hits another Karen. Even if she lies and tells you her name isn't Karen. My name is not Karen. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel, for exclusive weekly content. Four brand new videos over there. One about silver. One about the stock market tech sell-off that we've been seeing. One about the Suez Canal finally being freed up and ships can finally go through. And one about gold. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000. And I appreciate that. That channel may be renamed Karen Be Gone DYDSS2. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful 
two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, merely by coincidence, I named Karen, because I remember looking at this design and saying, wow, there's a Kraken destroying a ship, very similar to the way a Karen destroys our day. Which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. Comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Do not forget, use promo code KAREN for a 15% discount. Sale ends tonight. And of course, that goes for the Karen Free Zone t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs as well. Those are in the DYDSS store as of today. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. Number one, which of the four Karens did you find to be the most terrifying? Was it car ride Karen? Was it bus stop Karen? Was it roadkill Karen? Or was it Kmart Karate Karen? I also want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on me changing the name of this channel? Should I keep it as is? Mikey DYDSS? Or should I change it to Karen Be Gone DYDSS? Do you think that that would be more fitting? Do you think that that would be more appropriate? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace. Oh yeah, and before I forget, April Fools. Haha. <laughs>